If there were a symbol of what happened to faith in Ireland, it might be this, the Church of the Annunciation just outside of Dublin. It used to be one of the largest church buildings in all Ireland, but it's been demolished because so few people attended services. Anyone over 50 in Ireland can still remember a nation where almost everyone went to church, but today live in a nation where in some areas almost no one goes to church. The Christian faith that has dominated Ireland for centuries died with surprising speed. And as one leader put it, today for the Irish, God has become irrelevant. They not only walked away from the church, they legalized same-sex marriage, abortion, and elected an openly gay prime minister. Nick Park heads Ireland's Evangelical Alliance. It was very much a cultural religion. Well, they were Catholic because they were Irish, and the two were seen as synonymous. We were very arrogant as a church. Patty Monaghan helps lead the Evangelical Catholic Initiative. Uh, sadly, it's taken to two referendums uh, that we both that lost, one on same-sex marriage, one on abortion to bring home to the Catholic Church in Ireland that they're now a minority church. Church buildings abandoned, some Catholic seminaries almost empty. One clergyman wrote that the battle for faith in Ireland has been lost. But a new church is rising. This is the largest church in Ireland, and it is Romanian Pentecostal. The worshippers at Batania or Bethany Church came to Ireland to find work, but now realize they were sent to Ireland as missionaries. Batania Church is exploding and is worshipping in a new $8 million facility. I talked to two of the pastors while the building was under construction. We're praying for this country, we're fasting for this country, and I think God has a plan with us to be a blessing for this country and more people to know God and to be saved in this country. Because God loves Ireland. We realized God has a greater plan, a bigger purpose for our lives to deliver his message and his kingdom works for this country. Betel, another Romanian Pentecostal church, is also among the largest churches in Ireland. Batania pastor Georgia remembers when nations like Ireland sent Bibles to communist Romania. And those Bibles are coming back now. African churches are also growing. The Nigerian Redeemed Christian Church of God has grown to more than 100 churches in Ireland with several thousand members. And even though most Irish have rejected the institutional church, polls show many still believe the core of the gospel. Among Irish youth, I think it's something like 70% of them said they really believe Jesus rose from the dead. They really believed in heaven and hell. They really believed that Jesus was the incarnate Son of God. So you've still got these very high rates of belief in the facts of the gospel. When we were choked by religion uh, and institutionalism, there wasn't much life. But now that we have those institutions crumbling, I think that we're in the land of opportunity. Monaghan says the spirit is moving in some Catholic churches as well. Do you know there's, there's a spiritual awakening happening in this country? And some parish priests are really becoming born again, filled with the Holy Spirit and getting a vision for what's possible. There's that spiritual heritage within this nation that I believe the enemy, Satan, wants to destroy. But there's, I, I believe it's going to happen again. Ireland, once a mission field, then a base for missions, has become a mission field again. So we are seeing such an explosion of, of Christianity, but I believe the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. And Ireland still has a call to be a missionary sending nation. And I believe Ireland will fulfill that role again. Dale Hurd, CBN News, Dublin.